into the industry. That's something that mm. that's something to think about. That's just something to think about. And that's why I was saying and I'm I'm listening to you, you know, you want to do the the entrepreneur thing and all like that and you feel that trucking is that is that segue into it, but theoretically it isn't because what you're doing right now is a segue into your entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Because you got you got the exactly. money saved. You got you said what? By next year you have thirty G's, right? Yes, sir. So there you go. You know what I'm saying? Just as long as you keep, you know, you keep throwing you keep throwing money into that nest egg and not mess with it, you still building that that startup money for whatever it could be trucking, it could be whatever. You know what I'm saying? But um just yeah. keep building up that nest egg. And then you'll have something you 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 by the time that time come, you got the startup money. You got your you how how's your credit? Uh it's pretty good, man. I'm actually still working on it. Mm -hmm. Um so that way when I um get my EIN in for the business and I apply for something that'll be on point. Damn. Um but I've been working for that working on that for like the last year and a half, Damn, getting it to where I need it to be. And yeah, you, so you, and that's pretty stable. You bro, you you <laughs> You don't need my advice, man. You doing the damn thing, bro. I wish I had my hand clap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, doing, it's just baby steps. You know what I'm saying? Thing. I haven't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm definitely trying, man. It's baby steps. I'm just trying to right. work on this foundation now. Well, I'm not trying, but you know, working on this foundation and right. you know, just you know, like at the end of the day, man. You know, you're in the business, so it's different getting the experience. You know ear to ear, you know, from somebody who's actually doing it versus, you know, just listening to somebody. Because um, at the end of the day, man, you guys are, are really inspirational to people regardless, you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, but, you know, the, the the grittiness, man, at the end of the day, I'm definitely not scared. You know, it is a little fearful to jump out that jump out that window like that. Um, but you definitely got a point, man, and I appreciate your knowledge no and wisdom because it's, uh, it's priceless, man. No doubt, I and I I appreciate that uh that that you uh reached out to me. I appreciate the support, man, and uh and definitely. I mean, like I said, I might not know everything. <laughs> I might not know everything. I I know a little. I know a little bit about something, but you know what I'm saying. But like I said, I you know just just listening to you and all like that, and and, and enjoying the conversation. And and just listening and learning a more you know more about you, bro. I'm I'm just looking at this like, no, nah, this this dude don't need to come in the <laughs> trucking, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But uh, but I'm I'm going to say it again. Don't don't let me discourage you because if this is if yeah. this is something that you want, then keep working towards it. You know what I'm saying? Um, definitely. You know. I know you looked in. I, I know you say you looked in the road masters, but before you make that jump to road masters, just make sure that they'll train you for you know train you for everything, including manual. All right. I mean, there's. No, no, I, I, know, I know there's a lot of schools out here that's that's getting real, 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 real short on training. You know, training drivers for you know manuals. I mean, even though a uh, majority of the fleets is going to automatics, but manuals ain't going to go away. And you still going to still yeah. they still going to need somebody to drive the motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My, my uncle said the same exact thing. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, when you do your when you do your research on on the school that you want to go through, you know, definitely look in the fact that if 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 they train you in manual, because you definitely don't want to you don't want to restrict yourself. You don't want to limit yourself. And one last thing about uh, finding a school. <sighs> well, you you got the money, so there's there's no there there's no reason, none, zilch, mm -hmm. no reason why you should go to a company sponsored training school. No, you did. There's yeah, no I definitely didn't want to yeah. go that route. Yeah, I didn't want to have to. Um, I didn't want to have to be owned by nobody. You know, what I mean, coming out of school. Right. You you don't need to go to Swift. You don't need to go to Pam because you already got you already got your money. You just need to know. You just need to know how much they charge. And I know there's a lot of people out here giving miss bad 
misinformation, bro. There's there's no truck driving school that costs no ten fucking thousand. I mean, ten ten thousand dollars, bro. There there's mm. there isn't. I, I don't care if if bro, if if you pay ten thousand dollars for a, a trucking school, you you better make sure that they train your ass how to fits that motherfucker how to couple <laughs> how to how, yeah. how to drive a stick and everything there's no way and I've, I've definitely seen that out there too i've seen that price out there man mm -hmm. for, for some of these companies there's there's no way that 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 a company would should or would charge you ten thousand dollars for for trucking school man they're just in my opinion they're just there just isn't, bro. There, there just isn't. Okay. I, I say, maybe on the low end will be like three thousand, and then on a the high end is what I paid is like five thousand, and that's that's and that's okay. I, I, you, you pay anything more than five thousand dollars, bro. You getting ripped off. You getting okay. ripped. You, you, yeah, and that, you that that's kind of like the price range I was trying to stay in. Mm -hmm. Um, according to what I've been seeing, it seems like about the average. Yeah, you you like I said before, you 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 getting ripped off if you if you paying anywhere more than five thousand um, dollars. Also another understood, understood. Also, also another thing, uh, another thing to uh, look out for. Um, why you uh why you why you doing that? Make sure that your background is on point. Uh, if 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 you had any, if you did a bid or something like that, that that can affect mm -hmm. you. That can affect you getting into the you know getting into the muff uh, into the industry right away too, and all like that. So okay. if you did a if you did a bid or something like that, make sure that it's clear, and make sure that it's it's far away. But I, I don't. Nah, I, I, I don't I've, think I've done, you did. I've a, done some some county. Well, I've done some county time, man, but okay. I ain't, I ain't never go up, up no, the no road. Federal? You know what I'm saying? No, but, no federal. Oh no, no sir, oh, no then, sir, yeah, no sir. You, then you belong to where, man. It doesn't. It actually don't even pop up anymore. But um, but yeah. So, cause I definitely thought about that as well. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, man. It's it's, it's crazy, man. It's a little it's a little scary, man, to, to jump that shit, man. But so, what's your see? You know, if you don't mind me asking, you're with no, a company, ahead. correct? Yeah, I'm company. Okay, so cause, so when I, I I talk to a lot of gentlemen, you know, that I see in the industry, back and forth, mm -hmm. what I what I have noticed is that the company drivers are the ones that's telling me like, hey man, you don't want to do the operator owner, this this and that, but the operator own the owner operators are the, are the ones, ones that's, that's like you not to do the company. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like hey man, like what what some, some of them tell me like, hey, do the company get the experience, but. If you can do it, go ahead and get it done. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's just weird because it's like 50-50. I was telling my wife, like, man, like, you know, it's it's crazy the, the difference of the perspectives that I get, mm -hmm. um, which which also has me kind of like, sometimes it does have me super motivated. You know what I mean? And I even talked to a gentleman the other day at a truck stop, man. He's a, he's a maintenance guy for the tractor and trailers. You know what I mean? Just getting his perspective, you know what I mean? Seeing what he's seeing, you know what I mean, the type of industry, because his perspective is, is totally different than a lot of guys who's actually on the road, you know what I mean? Um, but it, it's very interesting, man. You know, it's a lot more encouraging than it is discouraging. But uh, but then again, you know, you break down a lot of things that, you know, guys really aren't giving those details, man. These quote-unquote gurus on, on, on social media is not necessarily giving you the real nah. just 100%, you know what I mean? They, they're giving you the icing on the cake, that's a good way hold on right quick let me just take this off right quick that's a good way to putting it the, they they just giving you the icing on the cake they not giving you the they not giving you the breakdown they not giving you the 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 what you got to go through they they just giving you the icing on the cake give give me $500 give me $1000 and i i can shortcut you to 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 where you need to be at, but they're not telling you about yes, the. Sir. They're not telling you about the grind. They're not telling you about the about the hardship. They're not. They're not telling you about that. They just sitting you down in a 
in in on on a on an iPhone, on a video, on a yep. Zoom call, and just sit there like, yo, you send me my you 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 cash out me. My cash app is dollar sign lockout man. You cash out me. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me let me check my cash app right quick and and see if you sent me that. Oh, okay, all right. So here's the here's the half an hour. Uh, here's the half an hour shortcut to to you getting uh uh a uh, hundred uh a hundred grand all that shit that they yeah. told you is the shit that you could have found on fucking youtube or the internet for free you know what i'm saying yeah so yeah. back to Very your true. back to your initial question yeah you you're gonna see you you're gonna get very opinions from company drivers because you know a lot a lot of company drivers don't don't inspire to be owner operators you know they they see at the companies that they work at especially if they work for an owner operator or a small company they see what that company yeah. or owner operator is going through <laughs> you know what mm. i'm saying they they see yeah. what he had to go through. You you see the you you see the fuel prices out here. You see yeah, the insurance man. they got to kick out. You see what they got to go through to get the loads and all like that. So as a company driver seeing that, yeah, and you go and ask them, hey bro, what do you think about? The no, no, I, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> yep. No, but on the flip side of that, you go back and ask a you go back and ask a company driver. Of course, a company driver going to be like, oh yeah, you know everything's is good because you know I know how to control what to spend. I know how much fuel to put into my truck. I know the percentage that I can get away with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. as you said before, it is a fifty fifty thing. On that, it, it is a 50-50 thing. You know, when you talk to owner-operators, of course, they're going to tell you, yeah, come on in, bam, bam, boom. And, you know, you can see, I can show you my statement. This is how much I'm making. But you got to understand that their experience and what they're making is might not always be going to be the experience of what you're going to be making. Yeah. So... So yeah, it, 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 it is. It is a fifty. It is like you said. It is a fifty-fifty. You know, it, it's it. It basically boils all the way down on you. You know, and and you doing right now. You you doing the damn thing. You you asking questions. You asking good questions. You you getting in contact with people that you feel that you can trust as far as getting the answers that's good you know if you know a couple of on yeah. like like you say you your your family is in the business so you can you can sit down and talk with them and then you can sit down and talk with company guys or you know talk to guys like myself and all like that that'll take yeah. the time that'll take the time and 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 chop it up with you and all like that so you you doing your research you you putting it all you you know you putting you putting everything together before uh before you you make that jump now let me give you another tidbit before you before you leave get your shit now <laughs> yeah because if you got so that so that was that was a segue into my next question mm -hmm. um because I'm, I'm currently studying for the cdl so my my goal was to actually take the permit mm -hmm. probably sometime maybe january february mm -hmm. um is that if I do that before those actual requirements are, are are due, is that something that doesn't apply to the permit or it doesn't matter? It just applies to everybody after that date, whether you got a permit or not. Let me let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. If if your mind is set on coming out here, come on. I mean, oh, let me rephrase that. If your mind is set on getting your license. Come on and get it. Don't don't procrastinate. Okay. Don't don't procrastinate. If your mind is already set on on getting it, right now is the time to start figuring out. Okay, when can I go to school? Uh, I work nine to I work nine to five, so I can go to school in the evening. Or uh, I work nine to five, and I could just go to school on the weekend. Come on out because you got you got it's November, December. In January, bruh, because 
after af, after all of that, February seven, that's when the game change. That's when the game that's okay. when the game change. And being that the game changed on February seven, like I said before, and I, I I will still stand on stand ten toes down. I still say if you pay ten more than five thousand dollars for your license, you're getting ripped off. But inspect the in, inspect the price to go up at least a couple of hundred dollars because they gotta you know the schools gotta change the way they do things. You know, because the the government is putting more regulations on the school. The school got to be accredited. The school got to be certified and all like that. And they got to pay. They got to pay fines. They got to pay fines, few um, fines, fees, and all that other shit. How they? How you think they're gonna get that money back, bro? <laughs> yeah, they definitely getting it from the student. Right. So, like I said, now if 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 it's on your mind and 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 you want to get get it in. Right now, it's the time to get it in because, like I said, next year, you you next year, you know, you won't be able to hook up with your grandpa and be like, "Yo, granddad, I need to get my, I want to get my license. Let's go do it." Nah, it's just like how it's just like how it's just like how you gotta go through getting your your regular driver's license. Like me back in the day, back in the '80s, when I got my license, I paid twenty five dollars and I got it from I, I got it from the school. Now. When, oh, wow. my, when my son, when my son went to go and get his license, it wasn't like I could train him. He still had to go to school. He needed that classroom time. He needed that drive time and all like that. And that shit costed me, costed me like fifteen hundred to uh to get mm -hmm. his, you know, to get his standard license. So, like I said, yeah, it's, it's, okay. you know, same thing with the CDLs after next, uh, after February. It ain't gonna be like you know, yo, let me. Let me just go ahead and, you know, get with any, you know, any Joe Schmo school. Same thing with the Joe Schmo schools. You're going to see a whole bunch of schools that's open now that's going to be closed after next year because they 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 they're not accredited and they're not um, and they're not uh, certified and all like that. Right now is the time to get it. You got three months, bro. You got you got from now until January. Okay, so let me ask you, man. Um, my, mm -hmm. This is my last question, I, and I'm not gonna hold you. Um, oh, no, you do you know ahead. many people who who have taken the test without going to the school and whatnot? Uh, and actually would have been successful on their first try or two. Well, you know what, I I I, I talked to a few yeah. people that you know that 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 was just grandfathered in, but. These is old school oh, okay. cats. You know what I'm saying? These yeah. these is cats. I just haven't met anybody. Yeah. Who, yeah, I haven't met many people who have really, you know, took it on the chin like that and actually have been successful at at uh, passing it. You know what I'm saying? They're, most people either went through a company or or to a school. Yeah, I um, only people that I talked to that did that did it that way. The only people I talked to that did it that way is old school cats. We we talking about cats back in the back in the late 80s early 90s mm. maybe a little bit of 2000s but but no i you know everybody that i know <laughs> including myself you know we we went to school <laughs> you know but okay. you know like the old school cats um the old school cats that was grandfathered in from from their chauffeur's license excuse me i'm shaking up my um mm. my uh solid but from their from their chauffeur's license to to you know to their CDL, those the ones that I have seen that you know that didn't have to go to school and all like that. But then, you know, if you let you know it, they if they let it, they license lax, no, I like that. Then yeah, they have to oh, come okay. back in and do it all over again. So nah, I haven't I haven't seen uh, nah I haven't seen or met anybody that that uh that didn't go to school and, and got their license. Now I know I talked to um it's up on it's up on uh it's up on the channel. Uh I, I talked to this this scammer guy, <laughs> you know, he over here talking about mm. that he got a he got a plug with the DMV and shit and all like that. But no, you oh, don't wow. you don't want to go that <laughs> route. You don't want to go that route either, bro. <laughs> so Yeah. 
But uh, Armani, nah, man, yeah, Armani, like I said, man, if you, if this is something that you want to do, man, you know, like I said, no discouragement or nothing like that. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and get into it. But like I said before, you know, I, you know, me personally, I, I really can't just say, yeah, come on in, come on in. Consider your situation, bro. I mean, you, you got yeah. a, you, you got a family baby on the way. Nine, I mean, ninety k a year. You driving the Nissan Maxima. You and your you and your wife could go out every weekend. You 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 home and all like that, man. I mean, jeez, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, you you right, man. You know, but you know, I guess the way I see it is just you know, do I sacrifice a little now? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that way, in five years, I can make my own schedule. You know what I'm saying? And I could potentially do more with my time because I decide on, you know, the choices business wise, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and you like know, at I the end of the day, man, still, you know, you, I, you can still, you can still do that. I mean, you can still become an entrepreneur. Yeah. I mean, you know, if, if that's the spirit, that's what you, that, that's, that's, that's the vibe. That's the spirit. Then, fuck yeah. you know come on come on and do the damn thing <laughs> i really don't think trucking would be the way to go yeah. but you know yeah, if, if that's the you. way if that's the way you want if that's the way you want to go then like i say you you doing the steps now to to solidify what you're going to do by next year and yeah. i could i commend you for that bro Thank you, man. I how appreciate old, it. How old are you? Well, hold on. How old are you? I didn't mention. I, I didn't ask that. How old are yeah. you? Yeah, I'm 34. 34. Okay, yeah, you still got time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I still got, I still got the energy too, man. So you know, I'm, I'm actually about to hit the gym in a minute. Okay. But um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I'm definitely gonna take heed to what you're saying, man, because it's and one of the reasons, just so you know, man, one of the reasons why I did decide to to move forward with the truck and it's just, you know, the the industry I'm in now, man, you know, I'm not the happiest, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, that, that plays you a major need to do part. Something, and, right. uh, you need to do something that'll make yes, it happen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, because I do have a peace of mind, you know what I mean? But, you know, that's because at the end of the day, I just say fuck it sometimes, you know, when it comes to running a store, you know right. what I mean? But, um, but I'm, I'm running a profitable store, man, and, you know, I'm definitely, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm making, so I, my business acumen is on point. You know what I'm saying? And I personally know what I can do. And the end goal is not even trucking. You know what I mean? I'm trying to find a, a broker program now for my lady so she can help me with it. Okay. Um, but, you know, I'm yeah, I'm definitely, my goal, I'm trying to work on an exit strategy while I'm, you know what I mean, now you because I know young. what I want to do. Yeah, you know, because the goal is I don't want to be in a truck either, you know, for another 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's health-wise, health that's not the best, you know, but. I just um I'm trying to I'm trying to figure this shit out, man, you know, and it's 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 starting to come together. Um it definitely helps talking to brothers like yourself, man, you know, getting both ends of the spectrum cuz the perspectives are, are priceless, man. So, you know, I actually just came across your page today with the first time I um I, I watched the vid and subscribed. So, I'm definitely digging what I'm what I'm seeing, man, and yes sir, yes sir, and I, I appreciate it, man. At the end of the day, man, you you're a part of the journey, brother. You, you definitely helped me on my right to pass. Hey, I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that, man. Make sure you support the channel by uh dollar sign lockout, man, or the cash app. Uh, but yes, sir. Uh, uh, subscribe, you know, subscribe and um and hit that bell because I you know I drop you know I drop videos all the time, man. So you know you are a citizen. You know what I'm saying? If you need it, if you need to talk to me on air, off air, damn, you cute. Hold on, right quick. Let me. Who who you arguing with? <laughs> I need to come over there and be Captain Save a Hole. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Saver Truck. Oh, my my bad. Look, my my bad. Female truckers. I mean, Captain Save <laughs> Save a female trucker. Anyway, thank you once again, brother man. Like I said, if you need to come on and holler at me for whatever reason, man. You got the number, you got the text, you know, let's chop it up and keep, you know, let's uh, keep it in the loop, bro. Yes, sir. Indeed. All right, man. I mind you, you take it easy and I'll talk to you later. All right. Stay safe. Yes, bro. sir. Safe travels. Peace, God. All right now.